What's up, everyone? This is Mr. Jekyll from Juggalo Discussion, sitting here with the man Too Tough Tony. He just got done wrestling Gavin Starr, so I'm going to ask him a few questions. All right. If you could be a part of any other career besides wrestling, what would it be? Um, it would probably be, I don't know, race car driver, man. Race car driver. <laughs> I like driving fast, man. I like old cars. Uh, shit. I mean, anything, anything that... I mean, pretty much anything that I want to do, I try to go out and succeed and do it. You know, like for, uh, you know, I want I wanted to be a wrestler, and, and here I am being a wrestler. Um, you know, I've been all over the world. I've been to Japan. I've been to Europe. I've been to Australia, uh, all over the United States, and you know, pretty much doing what I, I want to do now. You know, it's wrestling. I don't look at really nothing else, but I mean, if it was, I'd be a race car driver. That is actually pretty cool. I like going fast yeah. in my car, too. Um, another question. What made you decide to be a wrestler? Well, I accidentally uh, I accidentally uh, got into it, really. Uh, I used to do some uh, extracurricular things. <laughs> and uh, I rode with a buddy of mine down to Arkansas. And he was training to be a wrestler. And... Uh, they was up there training, and uh, Moondog Spot said, hey, Tony, come here, let me show you something. And then, you know, from there, I just, you know, he trained me, uh, or, you know, helped train me. Bull Payne trained me, too, so. Uh, fuck, man. I, I accidentally got into it, you know? So, I mean, that's, that's where it's at. Yeah. yeah. I've actually been looking into trying to get into Truth Martini's wrestling school, so. <laughs> House of Truth. <laughs> yeah, House of Truth. Um, one of the members wants to know, what's your favorite match type? Uh, you know, I, I like wrestling, and I like taking big bumps. I mean, Japanese style, strong style. Uh, when you get in and you punch somebody in their fucking mouth, and they're like, God damn, you just hit me, man. You know, just I like the death match style, but I like putting, like, m my style is, uh, is wrestling hardcore style, you know. Uh, I, I like to wrestle, but I'll take the hardcore bumps. So. All right. Um, what wrestlers did you look up to when you first started wrestling? Oh, shit. Uh, there was a tag team out of uh, Louisville called the Fabulous Ones. Uh, they was a tag team. I, I used to like them guys. And then I remember when I was a kid, and I used to go to wrestling at Louisville Gardens. And uh, let's see, it, it was a uh, tag team group called the Sam Bowie Express. And uh, I remember being a kid, and I threw popcorn at them or something, and they came chasing me. I was like, what the fuck, man? This, you know, it had me scared as a kid, man. But, uh, and Bruiser Brody. I, I, you know, I watched a lot of Bruiser Brody tapes, man. He was just crazy, barbarian-looking crazy dude. So, you know. Yeah. Bruiser Brody was actually pretty cool. Um, do you have any uh, goals left to achieve? And if you do, what are they? Shit, I got a lot of goals, man, <laughs> you know. I want I want to be old enough to watch my little girl grow up. Uh, shoot, I, you know I want to be the best I can be at anything that I do. So I mean, no telling what I might get into. I want to be top dog anywhere I'm at. You know, I just like anybody else. You know, I I, I like to uh, not stay down here. I want to rise up all the way up. You know, I want to go way the fuck up here. I don't want to stay down here. But I, er, there's two differences. There's leaders and there's followers. You know, and, and I look at myself like a leader, you know. If you want to do it, you go out and you set your goals and you, you get them goals accomplished. I'm going to take your advice for when I become a wrestler. Right. Um, one of the members wanted to know, actually his name's Fat Man Strangler, uh, so that's the only one I remember, truthfully. Uh, he wants to know how you and Corp became such good friends. Oh, yeah, uh, you know, Corp was wrestling down USWA. Uh, when we first started training out, uh, he, he got hooked on with USWA. Or, no, it wasn't USWA. It's right when USWA folded. And uh, me and Corp was hanging out. Uh, well, I met him through some friends of mine, uh, this lady. And Corp used to date this girl. And I knew the girl. And so, you know, from there on, me and Corp was hanging out because I'd go over and hang out and smoke weed or whatever. And uh, me and Corp became good friends, man. We, we became good traveling partners. I mean, Shit, we did, we did a lot of things, man. We did a lot of things. A lot of things probably get us in trouble right now. <laughs> so we can't talk about that. 
Oh, that, that's okay. fine. Yeah, I, I thought he was supposed to be here tonight. What happened to that? Uh, he snowed in in Wisconsin. Shit, that means it's coming our way, huh? In the belly of the beast, a place that's miles away In a deep southern town where the devil comes to pray, pray. A choir sings with the rhinestones shut By a stream the children play and water flowing with blood The past 